So, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, Amen. Amen. And to God's gracious mercy and protection, we commit you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. At the end of the service given by the Archbishop of Canterbury, Bill, explain what we're seeing now. The captain of the Queen's Company, the Grenadier Guards, laying the Queen's Company colour, the royal standard of the regiment, at the base of the catafalque on which lies Queen Elizabeth's coffin. This symbolically returns the colour to the monarch. It will be later return to Windsor Castle. The Honourable Corps of Gentlemen's Arms with the Swan's Feather Dragoon uniform and the Yeoman of the Guard gentlemen's arms are the nearest guard to the sovereign and the end of the guard are the oldest guard they will form a vigil for the next four days till monday morning and right now we can see the two members of the royal corps of gentlemen's arms mr charlie mcgrath formerly Irish Guards and Lieutenant Colonel Simon Milne, formerly Royal Marines, will take up the first 20-minute watch 
with four members of the Yeoman of the Guard and members of the Household Cavalry. There will be a constant vigil all the way through the weekend while the public are able to visit Westminster Hall for the lying in state. of the vigil, watches of six hours, with each vigil within the watch of 20 minutes. Similar to that in Edinburgh with the Royal Company of Archers. now appearing on the rise of your screens here ultimately responsible for security throughout the precincts of the house of commons leading up the procession out two speakers of the lords and lindsay hoyle of the commons just off a pace behind her. words of comfort there from the Archbishop of Canterbury, King Charles III and the Queen Consort, their solemn duty for the ceremony of the procession concluded after that very beautiful service at which we heard the choir of Westminster Abbey and the choir of His Majesty's Chapel Royal, St. James's Palace.
as the family now prepare to return to Buckingham Palace. The coffin of Her Late Majesty the Queen at rest now in the great Westminster Hall. The cross of Westminster at the head of the coffin. of God save the king and long live the king as they make their way back to the palace there following on from the ripples of quiet applause that greeted the queen's coffin at almost every point along the route remarking too on the duty of the Metropolitan Police whose ranks have been swelled by police officers from across the country this afternoon not only to accompany uh, the new king as we're seeing this afternoon but all along the route um, you can perhaps see them on the side of the frame there all the way along um, police officers keeping watch Ordinary on a circumstance like this, one might expect the military. This is an extra duty that has been given to the police in service of the late monarch. As one by one, the royal cars file back through the arch into Horse Guards Parade to return to the palace. Their late queen at rest in silence in Westminster Hall.